Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> this is the second time I've done this reaction. The first time uh, I turns off, I, I trailed, trailed off on like four different subjects at one moment and it's not worth seeing. I really like this track. Uh, there are, uh, Mean Mary on Fast Banjo, Iron Horse. Let's just uh, move forward first. We rode the plains as lovers do, we raced beneath the summer sun. Dusky eyes met his soul blue, our soaring spirits breathed as one. We blazed our love across the sky, surrendered to its ancient force. Until the day he said goodbye and climbed aboard the iron horse. I heard its challenge loud and shrill as we chased it on. Steed had the stronger will, the higher horse had the longer stride. Okay, so what happened is, uh, you know, I had to admit, I started out with uh, talking about it. It's probably hard to walk on that ballast barefoot which was a ploy <clears throat> so I could watch her walking barefoot. Because <clears throat> if you watch the Webby one I put up today, uh, them two were back to back the other night. And uh, I was actually, um, I had to admit that uh, 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 Mean Mary here was a, uh, <clears throat> a hell of an artist. And I, if I was, uh, you know, single out drinking, I would buy her a cocktail. At least try. But I'm not. But yeah, I was like, damn. Again. It's whistle cut me like a blade I loathe its screaming smoky cry How could he leave his Indian maid I'll ride like wind and ask him why The stride my fearless painted done I chose my pace and set my course To catch this demon on the run My steed against this iron horse Heard its challenge loud and shrill as we tested up the great divide. And though my steed had the stronger will, the higher horse had the longer stride. good spot and some longhorn. Now, I really like this. And I think the main reason the universe had me make a mess of it the first time is it's a, this song is a perfect example of how far the channel has actually brought <clears throat> me because I hate to inform people who get upset about this. But this is all about me discovering crap I like which I don't mean crap, and this is exceptional. And then sharing things I already like with friends I've made along the way. Bam! That's the whole channel. That's the easiest way to explain it all. And a year and a half ago, I could have appreciated this song, 
but I wouldn't have stumbled ass backwards into it for nothing. But my algorithm gets tainted or augmented, however you want to look at it, by everything I do on the channel. So a lot of this stuff just pops up there algorithmically. And that's why I'm always ranting, ranting and raving about uh, the quantum entanglement. It's just a way of having fun and saying that coincidentally or not, the payoff is real. It turns out I didn't do the scratch off, but I still got the winnings. Uh, I guess karmically I paid my dues. I'm kind of grateful it's all going the other way now. And maybe that's because I'm only here to grow, learn a little bit more about myself, and then share with friends. I appreciate <clears throat> the masses keeps you in business. But as a guy who worked in the bars for years, all the kids who bought tickets to the show kept the doors open, but the regulars made it worth going in every day. You get that? Sure. Of course your purchasing power has value. All corporations and businesses know this. But the people who sat in the same chair for three years straight that you knew like family, you show up to work every day for them. And then... They shared in your life like family and you become much more than just fair weather, f you know, friends or uh, bar fly acquaintances, right? It, it's, it's this other level and that's it. Just <laughs> being able to grow internally, discover stuff that I really like and on top of it, because... I'm a realist. She's just fire, awesome, great singing, playing, and she's of hot. Yeah. Yeah, for real. I had to tell my honey that because I don't want to bullshit her because she's the only one for me. But it doesn't change how mean Marion. And, and Ange probably looked the same as teenage, you know, in their teens. Uh, I'm just saying, there's a, <clears throat> never mind. That's why it was so hard to get through the first time, because I really liked it. Then I went on to the Webby cross play, uh, cosplay extravaganza, and I was done. Because then I kept thinking, this, this dress she's rocking here is just... <clears throat> Makes you cool. That's it. Cool. I want to ride with the lady. I can't help it. It's not my fault. Me and Tarantino, we got the same problem. Same problem. She knows it. She lost. Yep. I can't even get past it the second time. The road is challenged, loud and trill, as it labored up the great divide. But though I had the stronger will, the iron horns had the longer stride. Always. Through the thunder of its blare, I yield my fury at the beast. Wasted words lost in the air as it roared its way forever east. And the iron horse's speed increased.
Ah, oh, it's very good. It's so good. I really liked it. And here's the thing. Uh, this kind of sound, in my opinion, of course, uh, it's really, I got to, oh. Uh, yeah, I got to, I need a new layout for all that. That didn't work as well as I had hoped. Hey, I need a new layout for that. Thanks for experiencing that with me. Um, in my opinion, only, but this sort of sound, the railroad topic, whether it be a, a protest song and, and a metaphor for westward expansion, these may be taking the exploits back east or as a metaphor, an ideal for power, energy. I heard that within it. Um, technological advancement, it, it can go positive, negative. Uh, can can resonate in the heart of a railroad with a tramp out there with his stick and his bandana and his hobo king of the roadways. I would say from every spectrum, spectrum of life, the railroad can resonate almost. Now, nah, young people F that. I don't think they have. I don't think they've pulled their asses out of their phones long enough to distinguish anything except the latest TikTok trends. For the rest of humanity, uh, <clears throat> I, I you got to believe that um, rail travel, railroad, and the um, sounds and energies of that, it's, it's in the heart and soul of the land, the people, the everything. I think it's only modern American culture that doesn't, right? Yeah, if we're not talking about derailments right now, who the hell's talking about it at all? Because we never, you know, endorsed that sort of travel. I I actually used to take the, the Amtrak from Minneapolis to Duluth with my grandfather. Um, my grandfather liked to take us on train rides. I used to be really into trains as a kid. Uh I got a slot car racetrack and I wish I had a train set, but I just can't afford uh, a place. To, I don't have a place to set up my train set, but I um, enjoy training. In fact, to wrap this up, the last stop, this was awesome. Mean Mary on Fast Banjo Iron Horse. If you're new to the channel, uh, unfortunately, this is sort of what I do. I would take this link right up here to the original and listen to it a couple times on your own in your own environment so you could take it all in. Uh, so, so back to trains, I was, <laughs> I was learning about, so I know about knuckle, uh, the knuckles that they use now to put two trains there, but I didn't know about, what is it? Loop and pin or something like that. But I didn't know the guys had to actually hold that metal piece up as the two trains came together, get their hand out fast enough and drop them. <laughs> Wow, are we just you could you can always tell the arrogance of humanity when you look at the design is so unfunctional and the answer is yeah, we'll just get another guy with more fingers. It's heartbreaking. So I think to double down and actually finish this all up from being a seven fingered brakeman who gave his blood, sweat, and tears to the railroad to generations of immigrants brought here or there or anywhere <clears throat> military, uh, uh, railroad building during the war, brutal. Uh, whether it's the seven-fingered brakeman, the horrific captured railroad builder, the build-your-own-bridge-then-blow-it-up movie storyline, uh, to, you know, two pieces of steel ripping a country in half, to... Uh, fully integrated uh, speed 
the, the high speed mag lift rails uh, the, transporting the world back and forth for life. It's a hell of an extreme uh, or a hell of a timeline uh, scale. There's so much. Hey, hey. Wow. Now it was weird and crazy, but mostly on point, I hope. Uh, next time, uh, me and Mary shows up on the channel. I probably won't be so long winded, but I very much enjoyed it. I think she's awesome. And, uh, definitely going to check out most of her, uh, catalog because along with trains blowing my mind, uh, discovering things that I wouldn't have normally discovered. <sighs> Priceless.